skull face. Nah, no Urs, longer. it's it's not nonsense. It's just the thing you have to remember about Kojimbo is you can never read the surface meaning in what he says. It's almost always something else. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. Final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection by exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium and weaponize it. Loaded onto all terrain bipedal machines, they ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere. Deterrence on all sides. So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. I, I don't think so, Elijah. Yes. I, I don't think it's Peter Another Stormare. metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. It fails safe, only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated. Whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it, or their intent to use it. Nukes. Controlled by a man, not a country. If they proliferate, conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. Orca. The R&D and medical teams have come up with a proposal for a new suit that applies Code Talker's research. The Parasite Suit. Apparently, it can recreate some of the Skull's unusual What are you talking about, Erz? Standing militaries have no power? Just look at Russia. If you want to wear this suit, you're gonna need to get a hold of parasites by extracting skulls. to stop the epidemic at mother base by the way enjoy this chat because this is literally the most cutscene you're gonna get in this game about the pathogen spreading through mother base what's your opinion textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation and judging from this casualty list it is the kikungu strain meaning Breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Wolbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. Parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites, turning male to female and preventing copulation. We must cultivate more.
Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. See, Chet? He's not fucking blind. He can see, but he's got the milky eye thing. His eyes look like look like cone talkers now. Like I think I think that that Kojimbo went out of his way to show you that right after Code Talker shows up. Again with the truth serum. What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. He can't see without his glasses, Chet. Metallic Archaea. Sohoanthropus. Where is he? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. So Helanthropus is the final piece. What are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life. As countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what Skullface is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight. And on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and zeroes. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sohalanthropus in Afghanistan. They, they can't activate it without me. KB Zero. This philanthropist is beyond the Soviet base camp. In a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. Quiet, Tutor. Get out of here with that shit. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. And this is where the torture fetish in Asalat rears its head. No! No! Wait! Word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. 
The target is OKB-0. That's where I'll activate Sahelanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. Yeah, any time is a good time to bully Emery. He's a scumbag. He deserves to be bullied. Jojo to be continued music once again. Well, there we go. Mission we got all of our people back. Okay, we already Please we already select a mission. we we did this already. Thank you. We, like we literally did this already. Unit dispatched. Are we done? Please select a mission. So Skullface feels like it's the end of the game, but it really isn't. There there's more game after it, but this mission in particular is fucking rough on the settings. Like, I have done... I, I say this before, I've played through this game on similar difficulty settings to what we're currently using. It was hard then. Uh, trying to do this mission on these settings is gonna be rough. But, we're gonna have to give it a try. Uh, let me see. We had our two guys that bit the dusts that we gotta get rid of. Um, I think it was... Chad, I don't remember the names. Scowling Select Raptor was unit. one of them, so he's gotta be dismissed. Stop dismissed. And then, who was the other one? I don't remember. Was it... Was it Wallaby? Chat was was it scowling Wallaby? I don't remember. I mean, it feels like that's probably correct. Eh, I'll pull you rid of many. It's fine. Stop dismissed. Also, did our lady die? Ah, uh, you mother, you motherfuckers! You better not have killed off the lady. Cause like some of your people actually die. Like, this is- this is not the lady. Where- where is- where is the woman? I'm gonna be very, very angry. No, I didn't dismiss the- uh, I didn't dismiss the lady from Mission Fail. What the hell? Chat, I cannot believe I cannot believe Kojima did this to us. 
look at these stats. Look at the stats. This was one of our very first S rank soldiers. And it was a lady. And she was combat team. And she had athlete. Like this was the god role in terms of, of female recruits. And fucking snatched from us. Snatched by this parasite bullshit. <sighs> Chet, that's... that is... extremely disappointing. Extremely disappointing. Well, fuck. Alright, well, on that note, chat, I'll tell you what. I think we're not quite at the three-hour mark, but I think I'm going to take a BRB here. Um, because this mission, that Skullface mission, is probably going to be pretty lengthy. Uh, it's it's going to be a tough mission, so uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather take the BRB now, get it out of the way, and then uh, we can come back and, and we'll be able to get into... We'll be able to get into the game proper and uh, and, and get into a very long-winded mission. We're back, Chet. We are back. Yeah? We are back. What are you talking about, Elijah? Are you trying- are you trying to insinuate that as a child, you may or may not have lied yeah. when those definitely not porn sites ask you to confirm that you are 18 years old? Because I find it hard to believe that any of the fine, yeah. upstanding individuals in this chat would go so far as to lie about their age. Also, whether you put a birthday I, are you serious, Nightbot? Okay, well, apparently Nightbot doesn't like pussy. Arst, you'll have to rephrase that. Anyway. I mean, it's a crude word, but... It's in the modern English vernacular. I'm not gonna say you can't use it. Nightbot apparently yeah. thinks differently. Don't need to lie if you're an adult supervisor clicks it for you. See, there you go. That, that, that's thinking outside the box. That's thinking outside the box. All right, look, Chet. I'm going to say this is the time to stop. And I'm not saying that because I'm or like normally. I'm saying that because you're currently at 69% on the hype train. I'm just saying yeah. if you were ever going to stop. Now would be the time. Never mind. Never mind. Full ruined it. No, I, I mean, I, I tell you guys this all the time. Like, so I know not all of you put a, a birth date in for Twitch, and yeah. not all of you put your real birth date in Twitch, and I don't recommend that you do that. Like, any... If you are if you are signing up for any website for anything, don't yeah. give them any of your real information unless unless it's the kind of thing where like you're genuinely going to be dealing with stuff in like a legal capacity, like if it's your bank or you know you're paying off a credit card, like those places you should definitely use the correct information. But like if it's something like Twitch. Don't, don't give them your information. They don't need it, and you'd be better off not giving it out anyway. But, like, I have said before, I get the demographic information from Twitch, so I, I get a rough idea. I also get the demo information from YouTube as well, so I, I have a general idea of the groups of people that I'm most popular with, and, uh, 
I'm certainly popular with the older male crowd, which is not... I mean, that's not to say that, that VTubers like myself don't necessarily appeal to to older men but uh i that my demographics are certainly outliers in that regard uh, i've said before most of my viewership skews in the 30 to 55 range 30 to 55 male not that's not to say that there aren't some of you that are younger or in some cases older um but Primarily, it's 30 to 55. I mean, I, I would argue that Erst is an old soul. He's, uh... He may be in his 20s, but, but he's... He acts older than, than he is. He acts like an old man. Then again, I've been accused of acting like an old man, too, so maybe that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, over and over again, I can't say it enough, but I will certainly try. So thank you guys for the support. Speaking of, speaking of support, let's support our need for hot espionage operations. Stalker Guitar, I love you, but it's time to go to sleep. And uh, let's, let's get... Angie helicopter back so you guys can have your helicopter noises. And there we go. Alright, well, I've been sitting here so long thanking you, you fucking donkeys, for your generosity that my controller actually turned off because I wasn't using it. Please select a mission. All right, let's yeah. let's get started on this mission. It's gonna be a rough one. It's gonna be a rough one for sure. I don't. What? Why? Why? Why though? Why though? And Koloski with another twelve gifted subs again. You guys with your with your goofy ass numbers out of nowhere. But Koloski, thank you for yet another twelve gifted subs. I don't know why you guys think that I deserve this kind of support. I really don't. I don't think that I do. I don't know why you guys yeah. insist on doing this, but but I appreciate you. I really do. Koloski, stop it. Stop with the subs. I know you're fuck nuggets, Elijah. I know you you are out here proving it every day. I know you're fuck nuggets. And Koloski with another five. Like, are you just are you just gifting subs every time I tell you to stop? Is that is that what you're trying to do? Oh, you were trying to get to level 11. I see. I see. Well, again, I don't recommend those types of poor financial decisions. But ultimately, I cannot stop you. So, thank you again, Koloski, for, for that support. And thank you for getting us up to level 11 on the hype train. What's the record? Uh, Grumpy Old Gamer, we were just talking about that. I think it's it's 14. Somebody said it might have been 15. Something like that. Um, we, we have some very insane people with some very bad financial management skills. You're the only streamer I know besides text that yells at people for gifting subs. Yeah, exactly, Elijah. And for the same reason, because there are better things that you could be spending that money on. And while I do appreciate the generosity yeah. that you guys show, it's never... And I've talked about this before. Like I said, I, I share that with text that we're both, like, same blood in the same mud. We're from the same place. We were raised under very similar circumstances. Um... You know, we, we have the same kind of mentality when it comes to this thing. It's very, very strange to have this this generosity thrust upon you by strangers. No, not like that. Get your head out of the gutter. But, like, it's it's so strange, and it feels wrong. Like, everything everything that we know, everything that we were taught, every the, the, like, the way we were raised is just 
that's not right. You're not supposed to get that. Like, anytime somebody's giving you something, it's it's seen as pity. Or it's seen as, you know, you didn't do anything to earn it. Right? Like, there always has to be... You have to work hard for what you get. And when people just... You know, like, it, it's it's imposter syndrome. For lack of a better way to put it. it. It's... Like, you guys clearly feel that I deserve it. I don't. And it it's... It's a... It's a big mental barrier to overcome. I mean, again, I do appreciate it, though. And and I can tell you, having talked with the man myself, Tex appreciates it, too. Uh, we, we both struggle with that mentality of, like, not really knowing how to react to that kind of generosity, but we do, we really do appreciate it. We really do. And as if, as if, to further highlight, Osborne coming in with 10 more gifted subs, and crew card resubscribing for an eight months and woo eight months indeed indeed and thank you for the eight months of continued support and osborne thank you for the 10 gifted subs as well uh yeah osborne imposter syndrome is like um for lack of a better way to put it it's it's where you feel like the success that you have um the things that you have like like, that you haven't earned your life. That that what, whatever you have in life, you haven't earned. Um, and, and it can, for some people at least, it can make you feel bad. Because you feel like you've been giving some, you've been given something that you don't deserve or that you didn't earn. Um, so that's, that's what I mean when I say it's, it's, it's like imposter syndrome. Other things are gonna spend money on. The only thing I want to spend my money on is for you to be able to play the new Stalker. I mean, I will definitely play the new Stalker. I just probably won't play it at launch. Um, it, it's a very nice looking game, but as I've said before, because of the VTubing software that I run, um, it doesn't play well with graphically intensive games. I will still try to play it. I just don't know if I, like, I won't be able to make it look crispy AF. Now, I do have most of a streaming rig put together that I hope to like at some point I hope to be streaming on two rigs like to have a dedicated machine for streaming and then like have my gaming rig feeding into that so that I can give you guys like the crispiest hottest graphics um but for right now I'm, I'm not quite there yet you know the the whole being unemployed thing makes it difficult to go spend money on crazy expenditures like you know computer parts and stuff like that so it, it's it's on the docket it's a thing that holy shit that hype train was 116 subs chat the fuck is wrong with you what the fuck is wrong with you guys anyway um but yeah, put, putting together uh, a streaming PC is is definitely on the to-do list. I just have to get there. So, soon-ish, I hope. Like, I hope I find a job soon, because if not, I'm going to have much bigger problems. But, like, once I have a job and I've got some stable income and I, I get my finances sorted out, there, there's, I already have a long list of things, like things that I plan on buying and things that I plan on doing, so... It, don't, don't worry, a streaming PC is definitely on that list. Um, anyway. Let's get started with this mission, chat. Again, it's gonna be a long one, it's gonna be a tough one. But let's get underway. Deploying. <laughs> this is a very long mission, too. If we just like giving things to someone who appreciates it. And and I appreciate that, Elijah, but at the same time, like I said, it's it's hard for me to overcome my own my own upbringing in that regard. Um so you may think that I deserve it, but I don't. Um again, I do appreciate it. I absolutely do. N never for a moment think that I don't. But I've said it many times before, I don't expect it. It's not a requirement. Hello, King Panzer. 
and welcome to the chat on a Saturday. Hopefully the weekend's treating you well. The research facility Emrick was talking about is north of the Soviet base. That's where Skullface is keeping Sahelanthropus before setting it loose in Afghanistan. There's a good chance he's got nukes too. Boss, we need to figure out what Skullface is up to. If you make contact with him, get him to talk. The ethnic cleansing parasites, Sahelanthropus. Find out what his plans are. I think it's funny that Boss is like, I'm gonna need backup on this one. And their backup is like, let's load up all of the non-combat personnel into a chopper and bring him into the combat zone. Like, that's... That's not we backup. The Skullface's plans are on the verge of fruition. We need to stop him while we still can. Why not even get a horse? Soviet soldiers in that area are all dead. Apparently XOF unleashed the Russian parasite strain. To isolate the facility, they first spread reports of a chemical weapon leak. The infection won't spread into the surrounding regions. Still, I think they just exterminate the men who work with them all this time. Skullface must be making his final play. <laughs> snuck into the cargo on board the chopper. His idea of an escape attempt? Who can say? We'll think of how to deal with him later. Snake, do you read me? I know more than anyone about OKB-0 and Sahelanthropus. Boss, I've made up my mind. I want to be of use to you, not him. Let me work to pay for what I've done. I'll prove it, that I'm... That I've always been your ally. Boss, I'll be focused on coordinating back up here in Mother Base. The chain of command is still in place. If you have orders, give them through Miller as usual. Skullface is in OKB-0. Start by making contact with him. The facility itself is under the control of XOF, Cypher Strike Force. We have no hard data on their force strength, so your judgment in the field will be key. Boss. We're finally here. Find Skullface, and take everything from him. I mean, you say that like it's just snapping my fingers. I was afraid of that. Shit, we're gonna have a little bit of a rough time here. Because they're putting down mines. I'm gonna have to be very careful. Then again. Then again. Maybe go on the other way is where the smart money is. Good. Damn it. I don't like it. Boss, get down. Well. Stay low and crawl along the ground. That's how they need to see yep. the best enemies. I don't even have a weapon. Oh, 
Alright then, well it was good to have you. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday stream and hopefully the games go well. We have officially fucked this up, Royal. And we've barely gotten started. They, they coming. They coming, Chet. Hey, it's not good. It's very not good. Very not good. I'm gonna let them do their thing. And I'm gonna keep right on going. I, I, I need down off of this rock. God damn it. Stupid. I can think of a few ways that this could have gone worse. But, uh... Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. It would have been pretty hard. Would have been pretty hard to do worse than this. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. XOF has occupied the facility. Skullface must be close. Climb, doofus. Climb. First checkpoint. And they're already on alert, so that's gonna make this even harder than it needs to be. Now to be fair, you guys might be seeing what I'm seeing. What are y'all packing for anti-tank weaponry? Complete. Analysis complete. CP. CP. Analysis complete. Okay, so the Walker gear has got some some ATGMs. I just need to make sure that nobody's rocking an RPG or God damn it. Complete. See that's what I was afraid of. A man's is rocking a Gustav. 
and I don't know I don't know if the tank is gonna have the elevation to take out the chopper. Hopefully it will. But we got two must kill targets. We gotta neutralize the walker gear. And then we also gotta neutralize this guy with the Gustav. Analysis complete. And we gotta do that before the chopper comes in. And that's not even counting the fact that I gotta get to the damn tank first. Our man's is complaining because his walker gear is gone, even though he woke up right next to it. So I could take the high road, but there's a lot of lights up there. See, going in when they're on alert kind of changes everything around, and not in a good way. Sign of skull face or his Goliath. Surely they can't already have. No, never mind. Okay, our man's is moving. Down, you fucking doofus. Well, it's go time. It's fucking go time, boys. Fire? 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 There we go. I couldn't remember which button I used to fire. what I was afraid of. I guess we're doing this the, the harder way or not. Apparently tanks are no longer bulletproof. Good to know. We're we're dead. Like there is there's no fucking way. Dump the body, you stupid mother. Good lord. Yeah, there was nothing I could do. Boss, what happened? Boss! Um, affair, it's it's just for the XOF guys. It's just for the XOF guys. Uh, believe it or not, if you use the Infinite Heaven mod, you can you can set it to replace um all guards on the map with different like you can have all Russian guards even in Africa. You can have all African guards, even in Afghanistan, or you can have them replaced with all XOF soldiers. Um, it doesn't... Uh, it, it replaces the models and the voice, but... I mean, the, the functionality is already there in the game. Oh my god! Okay, thank you, great. Are we done? Fuck's sake. Please select a mission. It's like, hey, you know this part of the game that you literally haven't engaged with at all? Would you like to learn how to engage with that part of the game? And I'm like, nah, I'm good. Thanks, fam. And it's like, yeah, but are you sure you don't want to engage with this part of the game that you've been actively avoiding? All right, it was a... Uh, oh, shit, I forget. Was it... It was Marlin, right? Was it Marlin? I forget who we were as just now. 
Yeah, I got in a tank and still lost because apparently tanks aren't bulletproof. Like, even though I killed everybody that had anti-tank weaponry and all I was doing was just taking fire from, from small arms, they still somehow blew up the tank. Don't ask me how the fuck that works. Anyway, I think it was Marlin. I'm just gonna dismiss them. It doesn't matter. The point is that we lose a guy. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna try not to fuck it up this time. Yeah, I mean, the fact that a fucking 5.56 five, round can apparently penetrate the armor on a T-70 tank is, uh, or a T-72 is, is, that's definitely a skill issue. It definitely has nothing to do with the game. I mean, it, it, it is what it is. I, like, I shouldn't have been in the situation where I needed to jump in the tank anyway. Um. I just essentially get, I got screwed by the game. Like, when the sniper suddenly decided he was gonna spot me, it was in a place where I couldn't really go anywhere or do anything. And so it was one of those things where I either just have to get down and hope that he doesn't see me. And if he does see me, then it's like, okay, well, that's it. Like, I'm sitting here in the open. There's literally nothing I can do. So what I'm gonna have to do now, and I didn't, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do it, but what I'm gonna end up having to do is I'm gonna have to pay more attention to where the sniper's actually looking. Because the snipers actually have tunnel vision. Like, they only see in the direction they're looking. So, as long as I only move when the sniper's not looking in my direction, I might be able to get away with it. I can't believe I just knocked a horse down by diving. That doesn't seem like it should be a thing. Start by making contact with him. The facility itself is under the control of XOF, Cypher Strike Force. We have no hard data on their force strength, so your judgment in the field will be key. Boss, we're finally here. I wish there was another way to get around this place, to be honest. Like, I wish I could just, like, go up this rock face. Wait, can I go up this rock face? Is there some way, like, on the outside of the level that I just don't know about? I guess not. Be great if there was, though. Knowing Soviet quality, that thing was properly just held together by paint. I mean, they do be having some pretty durable paint in the Soviet Union. Like, can I go up this way? <laughs> Would this lead me around? Oh, maybe not. Wait a minute, chat. Holy shit, chat, the road less traveled. The road less traveled. I vaguely remembered there being a path like this. I just could never remember how to get there. Wait. Shit. Well, I mean, it got me closer.
and I can't, like, from here, I can't really tell what direction the sniper is looking. Fuck it. I feel like he's looking right at me. Okay, now he's not. God, this is so fucking nerve-wracking. I don't know if I can actually shimmy on the wall, to be honest with you, Erst. And even so, I can only get to, like, right there. Because there's no way to get up on the larger part of the wall. Alright, I need to wait for that walker gear to... to move elsewhere. If he could kindly just not be in this vicinity. And then we'll hop up here. And then get back down. And then let's see what our mans is doing over here. What is the sniper doing? I can't really tell. I can't really see him. Okay, he's looking the other way. So we'll go ahead and make some moves. Man, this is... it's gonna be rough. Down, stupid! I don't know why the first instinct of this guy is to stand the fuck up. Like, under any other circumstances, you should be laying down, not getting up. Okay, what's the walker gear gonna do? Right, he's moving away. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> Chat, we might begin somewhere. We just wait for the sweep to go the other direction. Now you turn the light the other direction as well. Outstanding. And then we just we just keep on moving. We just keep on moving. Hey, look at that. We made it through the first checkpoint. Don't ask me how we managed to do that, but I'll take it. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. All right. Now, obviously, going over there on the right side is going to be the smoother way to go. Two more gates to go. Still all quiet at the silo. Because the majority of the guys are over here on the left side. So heading over there to the right side would be the path of least resistance. Hopefully that'll be a little easier now that everybody's not in the alert status. So let's just get down. We'll use this cover here. We might- we might be cooking. We might be cooking. Although we do have that- you see that patrol coming down the hill, so... Definitely gotta move before they have a chance to get close enough to be a problem.
I'm gonna see if I can climb all the way up here. Because if I can get all the way up here... Then that'll keep me out of line of sight of most of the guys on ground level. Uh, don't worry, Bioplayer. At some point, we will we will play another Metal Gear playthrough at some point, and we'll do it a little more traditional so that we, you know, we can use the tanks and the jeeps and all the fun toys. But uh, this run is about suffering. You know, this is punished snake after all, so we gotta suffer. Are you fucking serious? Down, stupid! Oh my god, do what I tell you, for fuck's sake. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Well. Now we gotta move. Sad thing is, like, I know you guys probably see him. It is so fucking dark for me. I don't even know where the enemies are. They coming. Just gonna wait it out. Maybe if I get lucky and one of these guys is isolated, I might be able to to bamboozle him. The other problem that I keep running into is I don't have a weapon. I cannot defend myself. So the only option that I have is evasion. I don't know where they went. Uh, okay. Oh, now they're on the search pattern. Okay. <laughs> Well, fuck. I was hoping I could get the chain melee, but uh, at that Snake, back in that okay? work. Snake. Oh my God, Chet. This is, this is gonna be worse. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. Mercenary Kickstarter just arrived in the mailbox. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I know this has been going out. It's always nice when you order a thing and you get it earlier than you expected. That's always a good feeling. Not like me, where I order a garage kit and then I have to wait three fucking years for it to show up. To the point where I completely forget that I even paid for the damn thing. <laughs> 